So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars space. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey. Hi. Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. I'm Mika. Hi. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS. OK, so that stands for International mm -hmm. Space Station. Station. You got ISS. it. ISS. Cool. Oh, yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Ah, oh, the truss. OK, yeah. and what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you got to uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're going to use in our simulator. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're going to use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense. T-handle wrench. Oh, OK. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench. Works out. Easy to remember. Oh, yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. OK. Now, we're just going to use this little one today. But okay. we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's huh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, OK? okay. So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that so would be very, bad? Yes, okay. it would be very bad. OK, so this okay. is super important. Yes. OK. So what's going to happen is that when I put you in the chair, OK, mm -hmm. we're going to find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're going to replace it. Wow, cool. OK, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm going to give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. OK, okay? let's test it out. So you're going to grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. Okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're going to turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now, when you do that, it's going to come out and it's going to fall down. OK, so good So make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, OK? okay. Then I'm going to give you the new one. You're going to give me the old one. OK. OK. And then when you put the new one in, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place, and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. OK, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. OK, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're going to use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. OK, I'm going to rock you back. It's going to feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, OK. okay. So rocking you back. OK. All right. Feel OK? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. OK, starting in three, two, one. Now, it's really loud, Ooh, OK? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now, I'm going to push you underneath. 
Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There you go. So got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember. No feet. Woo. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Ooh. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm gonna give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're gonna take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. Okay. Whoop, turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. There, push it in. Push Oops. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished your job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay. You're floating away from the station. Oh no. Bye. <laughs> wow. I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you you can now that you've done your job. <laughs> okay. But bring you back down to Earth. Three, right? two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there wow. you go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. <gasps> wow. Okay. Yeah. This is going to show you how you're going to fly to Mars, how you're going to land on Mars, and then how you're going to drive <laughs> on Mars. That's amazing. Okay. And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real. But it's going to make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, okay? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always okay. gonna have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's gonna fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's gonna drive it. In this ah. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you wanna go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so right. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, we're gonna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. okay. So if you look up above, you'll probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We wanna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay, that's okay. Good. So I'm gonna lock you in. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then the restraints are gonna come down. There okay. we go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's gonna happen is when I close this door, we're gonna start the simulator and you're gonna fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome, okay. So I'm gonna close the door now. All Bye. Right. See you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. 
It really feels like I'm getting ready to go to Mars. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, here I go. Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay. So first things first, the restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. And you come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. <laughs> you can use the handrail, yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 in uh -huh. the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool, come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base One Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light, and water, and dirt or soil packed with nutrients, and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff, and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I want to show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. 
So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So, hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah, and you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see fine. you around. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Oh, I gotta go. That's my ride. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today, I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oop. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 
20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground, as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's going to grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers. See? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide. Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come 
one. Let's see. Whoa. Super bouncy. <laughs> Whoa. This is so fun. <gasps> Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Whoa. <laughs> Good night. Uh, uh. Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all-time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the pitcher that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh! I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflower. That's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. There's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? 
cool. M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wow, two more giant crowns, green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course but we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach. That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice. Okay, can you guess what I am? Rawr! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Rawr! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, nice. It feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. 
All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll when I count to three. We'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, <laughs> two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Pointing so toe. hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our lesson it. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! There oh, it is! No, no, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up Whoa, high. That looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, you've done some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I now. Think you're ready. Okay. Okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoop. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hand okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa. Nice, you went upside down. I did, I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. 
Fries! I love eating fries! <laughs> All right. We got yellow! Oh! Blue! Oh. And orange! They do look like fries! Look! It's like a giant fry. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp. chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp. Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump. 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Oh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right. First things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do it. Kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balance. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> well, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, <laughs> look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh. I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. 
Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, Welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, Welcome, friends. Come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends. Welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool. A circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm. Which one should I choose? I think I like this one, the medium stacked square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect, and did you wanna add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie for my best friend? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller, easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> And what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here, and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. thank you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth, <laughs> come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, 
Okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay. So, I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze it over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay. And I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right. Now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base. And let's dry! Okay, you're done. Wow. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you want to do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm going to give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough but this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Whoa, <laughs> bobby pin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool, and this is gonna push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, Bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. <laughs> wow, that looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. Over the whole thing. 
like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. We look like a sugar cone. I'm going to be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it's powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, that's totally fine. Oop, there we go. <gasps> Whoa! That looks so cool! Look how good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. We good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit. Oh, we did it. <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! 
Everything's about to fall. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the green. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I wanna be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one. Two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. Jet skis are so much fun! I think this is the perfect time to watch the Blippi Jet Ski video! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at what's behind me! Yeah! It's a jet ski! We are going to have so much fun today riding a jet ski! Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we ride the jet ski, we need to get on our jet ski riding gear! <laughs> yeah! All right, look at what I have on now. This is my wetsuit. And then I also got my jet ski key and my safety whistle. <laughs> and my life jacket. Gotta put it on. Oh, but you can't forget about the sunblock. My camera crew gave me a packet of sunblock to use. So, let's put on the sunblock. Kinda tastes like mayonnaise, but it helps you from staying safe against burns from the sun. All right, here we go. Yeah, now that we got our jet ski gear on, it's time to fill up the gas tank. Whoa. Big full gas tank, but it's about to be empty. Now that the gas tank's all full, it is now time to ride the jet ski.
so colorful. Let's look at all of the colors. There's green, there's blue, purple, and black. the engine of the jet ski. Wow, we got the gas tank right here, and we got the battery, and the intake, and, ooh, my favorite part. <clears throat> the spark plugs. <laughs> and then, we got the engine. This is the actual motor right here. And then the exhaust. <laughs> Wow, what a powerful engine. I think we should ride the jet ski some more. All right, let's put on the hood. We're ready to ride. My jet ski just stopped! Now that I'm stuck, it's time to use our whistle! Yep, safety whistle, because then someone will come and save us. Ha! <laughs> 
This is a steam train, and today we are in Chehalis, Washington, and we are going to learn about trains. Now I'll show you all the parts of the exterior of the train. Like these down here. Whoa, look at the giant wheels. Whoa, there's so many of them. Wow. There's another one. Whoa. Oh, look at this one right here. Ooh, and look up here. Wow. That big thing up there? Yeah, that's the firebox. That's what heats up all the water and it creates steam, which is pressure. And then up there, that's the stack. And then the bell. And then the whistle. Uh -huh. Ooh. And back here, right there, that's the cab. That's where the operators of the train sit. <laughs> Ooh. And come back here. This is the tender. Ooh, and look over here. Those are the cars of the train. Wow, now we're inside the cab of the train and I'm with the engineer and his name is Rick. Hey Rick. Hi. Okay, and I'm over here with the fireman and his name is Robert. Hey, hello. <laughs> and they are gonna explain some of the interior parts of the train. Hey, so what's this thing? This is called the Johnson bar. Oh. It makes the engine go forward, or if I go over here, it makes it go backward. Oh, can you I try? try that? You go ahead. All right. I dare you. you. Okay. Whoa, that's hard. Whoa. Okay, okay, now I'll go back. Whoa, going back's even harder. Ugh. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. cool. All right, so we decide which direction we're going. We control our speed with the throttle, like a gas pedal in the car. So I pull that out, we'll go faster. <laughs> Whoa, all right. You push it forward and then you go slower. And I can okay. shut it clear off. Okay. The other thing I do is I've got a whistle up here to warn people that we're coming at a crossing. Try that. Yeah, sure. oh. Here we go. <laughs> wow, that's cool. And then the other thing I have to do is once in a while to stop the train. This stops the train here, like that. And this one is for the engine only, independent of the train. And what's this down here? That's a big fire in there. We're heating water to make steam. That gives us. Uh, the energy to go. Oh, wait, so fire, and, and that's the fireman over here. So what's this thing? This handle, I can make the fire get bigger or smaller. Ooh. Go like that. Whoa. See, got a little more orange. Yep. That's a little less orange. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And so you sit here and do all the fire stuff, and oh, yeah. is there anything else that you do? Yeah, I got to ring the bell to make sure people get out of the way if we're moving. Oh, See, I pull this through. Oh. Rings. <laughs> Cool, can I try? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, that's cool. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Board. <laughs> now it's time for all the passengers to load on up so we can go for a ride. Okay, now it's my turn to ride the train. So come on, you can join with me. Whoa, Ooh, look over here. Wow, this is the inside car where it's all enclosed. <laughs> that looks cool, but hey, let's go over there so then we can ride the train 
on the outside. Come on. Oh, hello. Hi. Whoa, see, now we're outside. This is going to be so much fun. The wheels were a turning and the smoke was a puffin'. Off we go. Wow, it's so green over here in the field. Look! Woo! Here come some trees. beautiful pond right there. Oh, so much green. I don't know what type of plants those are, but they kind of look like lily pads. Oh, wow. Okay, we were outside, but now we're inside an enclosed car. <laughs> what a beautiful ride. Track's gonna get there fast, yeah. Choo choo, here comes a train. I could spend all day watching you go choo choo. Oh, all across the country there are many train tracks and so many trains that roll on through. I can only imagine how much fun I'd be having if I was riding on the caboose. That's the back of the train. I try to count all the train cars, but there are so many flying by. One, two, three, four, and there's even more. Choo choo, here comes a train. Choo choo, here comes a train. It's rolling on the tracks, gonna get there fast, yeah. Choo choo, here comes a train. I could spend all day watching you go choo choo. Some trains are made to transport people. I've been on one, how about you? Some move cargo miles and miles. Some move oil or fruit. Every time a train goes by, I wonder what could be inside. Choo choo, here comes a train. Choo choo, here comes a train. It's rolling on the tracks, gonna get there fast. Choo choo, here comes a train. I could spend all day watching you go choo choo. Train. 
choo choo. Here comes the train. <laughs> that was so much fun watching, singing, and dancing to the train song with you. Hey, if you like my show and you want to watch some more of my videos, all you gotta do is type in my name into the internet. You know my name. Yeah, it's Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Good job. Now you know how to say and spell my name. Blippi! <laughs> Until next time, kids. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're at the Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go! This is going to be so much fun. Hello there. Have a good time, Blippi. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Check this place out! This is Water World. Let's go have some fun with water! Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of water spraying up in the air. Let's take this red ball and put it right here. Whoa! Whoa. Let's take some more of these balls and do that again. Okay, this time let's pick from the red, yellow, or the green ball. Let's do the green ball this time. Here we go! Bye-bye! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it didn't work. Let's try the green ball again. Awesome. Now, let's do the yellow ball. Whoa! There it goes! Whoa! Huh. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! Do you hear that? Oh, these little water squirters are squirting these metal pieces. And these metal pieces are hitting each other and they're making noise. Listen! Wow! That's some beautiful music! <laughs> oh, what's this over here? Do you see these two things spinning? Wow! Yeah, that one's going counterclockwise, mm -hmm. and this one is going clockwise. But hey, check this out. See, if you take it out of the water, it's not spinning anymore because it's balanced on both sides. But if we put the water right here, just a little bit, it fills up with water like that. And then it gets heavy on this side. And that is when it starts to spin. Wow. Whoa, what's that way over there? Whoa, kind of looks like a tornado. It's spinning around and around really fast. I have an idea. Let's take some balls and put it through the top and see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there we go! Okay, I'll do two green balls at once. Whoa! That is awesome! Let's go learn about some more things at this children's museum. Let's go! Check out this place. This is Fantasy Festival. Ooh, there's a cool thing like this, which is a treasure map. And there's a pirate ship back there, a stage. This place is awesome. 
But first, let's find where the treasure is. Let's look at the treasure map. So these are pieces of land. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Two big islands. Actually, there we go. Let's make three islands. One, two, three. And then we have a volcano on an island. And ooh, another volcano. Okay, we need a pirate ship right over here. Hmm. Go around this big island. Go around the small volcano. And that island. That volcano. And then we'll arrive to the treasure. <laughs> okay, in order to find the treasure, we need to dress up like a pirate. Ah! I got my pirate hat on. Perfect. And my sword. Now to the stage. Can you see I've got Arr! 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 That's silly. Woo! Check this out. Wow! The pirate ship is docked. And do you see this? That is a starfish. Hey, have you ever wondered why a starfish is called a starfish? Yeah, it looks like a star, but it doesn't look like a fish. <laughs> That's silly. It doesn't have gills or scales and it can't even swim. But it does have these things on the bottom. Oh, they tickle. <laughs> They're kind of like little feet in suction cups, kind of, that go boom, 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 these cannons help the pirate ship to defend themselves from other pirates. All right, fire in the hole. Yeah, let's go do some cannons ourselves. Let's go, matey. And my shoulders where he stands. Arr. And I wear some earrings, which adds to my pizzazz. Look as good, Captain. my ship is Okay, we're at the lower deck. And here are the powerful cannons. Wow. Okay, first we need to get a cannonball. See? See? One cannonball. Load it in. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Let's do another one. Okay. Load it up. Fire in the hole! <laughs> yeah! That was awesome! Okay, now let's head to the top of the pirate ship. Whoa, it's really dark down there at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's go up to the top. Wow, this is awesome! Hey, look at this! This is a way to get supplies down to the bottom or over to the land. All right, I'm lowering it down. Perfect. Okay, now they'll put some stuff in it and then I'll bring it up. I wonder what's inside. We'll save that for later. Oh, check it out. This is the crow's nest. Wow, oh, that's where you stand, up in there. So then you get a good bird's eye view from afar. And on the crow's nest, a lot of the times, you fly a flag. So let's put a flag on right here. And this is the Union Jack flag. Up we go, mateys! Yeah! Whoa! It's so windy! <laughs> oh, let's go up a little bit more. 
to the top deck. Check it out. The steering wheel of the pirate ship. Kind of like a steering wheel in a vehicle. Ring, ring, whoa, whoa. Hey, look, a compass. Wow, do you see that arrow? It points to the direction that we're going. Huh, interesting. N, E, S, W. North, east, south, west. Huh, those are the main directions. It's kind of tricky to remember. You know how I remembered it? I remembered it as never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> That's silly. Or you can make up your own, like never ever stop wandering. Yeah, always keep exploring, kids. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, look. Yeah, the treasure chest. We found the treasure. Good job, matey. Arr, yes! Yes, matey! Arr. Hey, come on in. This is Toddler Town. Welcome. This area is for five years and under. And you can have a lot of fun, like this area. This is the crawl zone. This is where you take off your shoes and you can learn to crawl. Whoa, see these ridges right here? Oh, there's so many things to touch. Yeah, all the good sensory things. Whoa, look. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, interesting. So many interesting things in this area. Looks like bells in a cylinder that's clear. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what's that? Wow. Hmm. I like to feel things. They feel different. This kind of feels like carpet. Whoa, and this is really hard. And it's shiny. Whoa, and what's this? Wow, it's kind of like mesh. Yeah, metal mesh. Oh, what's this? Huh. It's kind of like wood. Brown painted wood. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Wow, look at this over here. Whoa, looks like a beautiful picture. Kind of looks like Nevada. <laughs> okay, let's take the animals and guess where they go. Hmm, where does the fish go? <gasps> yeah, the fish goes in the water. Okay, ooh, a rattlesnake. Oh, where does the rattlesnake go? Oh yeah, right here in the desert area where it's dry and really hot. Whew. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Ooh, looks like a, a ram. <laughs> Big horn sheep. Where does it go? Yeah, way up here. Whoa. On the top of the rock. So then it can look for anything and everything to keep eyes out for predators. Yep. There you go. Oh, hey, check it out. This is a tortoise. Wow, <laughs> the shells of tortoises are really hard. Um, it goes right there. Ooh, a jackrabbit. Where does the jackrabbit go? Yeah, see these little bushes? Yeah, it likes to hide around them for cover. There you go, really smart. Ooh, a toad. Interesting. Rubba, 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 rubba. <laughs> yeah, it goes right here, next to the water and the land. 
so then you can get some nice water. Yum, 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 I love water. Okay, whoa, what is this? <laughs> this is a giant dragonfly. <laughs> Let's put it way up there, because it's flying in the sky. Ooh, an owl goes in the tree, and then the bird goes on the branch. Good job. <gasps> okay, let's keep moving. Ooh, this area is called the touch and feel. <gasps> okay, let's do the first one. You have to guess what it is. What does it feel like? Whoa. Yeah, it's kind of scaly, but not scaly. <gasps> yeah, it's a rattlesnake. Ooh, do you feel this? This is really soft. I like to feel things. Oh, yeah, it's soft. That's the jackrabbit. Ooh, and what's this? Kind of feels like wool. It's soft, but also very firm. Huh? That's the sheep. Whoa, and this is hard. Yeah, I bet you know what that is. Yeah, a tortoise. <laughs> okay, let's hear what these animals sound like. Okay, I'll push this button, then you have to guess what it sounds like. Ready? <laughs> yeah, that's the toad. Let's do this next one. <laughs> yep, the great horned Owl. Hey, guess this one. Do you know what animal that is? <laughs> yeah, that's the jackrabbit. What animal is this? Yeah, the mountain bluebird. Let's act like birds together. <laughs> okay, let's do this next one. Ready? Oh, it's kind of scary sounding. Oh. Yeah, if you hear that, you have to be very careful. That is a rattlesnake. Okay, last one, ready? You know what this is. Yeah, I knew that, I promise. That was the sheep. Bah. It was so much fun learning about those animals. Ooh, check out this place. You can color with crayons or markers. Ugh, that looks like fun. Ooh, weird. This is a spiral. Pretty nifty. Yep, a spiral goes around and around in a circle. Gets bigger or smaller, depending on what direction. Whoa, that's interesting shape. Goes up, 90 degree turn, 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 90 degree turn. Oh, a zigzag. Whoa, and a curvy line. Kind of looks like a snake. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Like a rattlesnake. Ooh, another sensory area. Oh, so this bucket gets changed out every single week. So the time that I was here, it's this. It has really soft feathers. Wow. And it has, interesting, these foam pieces that are different shapes. Interesting. And different colors. And it feels so good! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Welcome! This 
is the children's hospital. Come on in. Whoa. This is where all the doctors and nurses work. And there's a lot of babies. But first, we need to scan our body. Step right up here. So then the x-ray can scan us. And what it's doing, oh, you have to stand still. What it's doing is scanning my body for if there's any broken bones. Scan complete. <laughs> okay, let's see the findings. Whoa. All right, let's put on this white area and it illuminates from the back. Wow, look, that's my spine. And my hip bones right there. Wow, that's really cool. Here we go. Let's check my hand out. Let's inspect it. Hmm, yep, that's my hand. Okay, is there any broken bones? Nope, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, ah, let's keep that up. <gasps> oh, shh, the babies are sleeping. They're so cute. Hello. Oh. Okay. Let's see. This is the patient charter. And this is Damon Washington. African American. Male. Seven months old. 18 pounds. Oh. And he has a cough. Okay. All right. Hey, Damon. How are you, buddy? How are you? This is Damon. Hey, Damon. Okay, let's give Damon a checkup. Okay, we'll be right back, Damon. Hey, first, we need to get this table nice and comfy for Damon. Put this on right here. Okay, Damon, here we go. Hey, Damon. Okay, how are you? Okay, let's put Damon on this comfy pad right here. Perfect. Hey Damon, it's gonna be a little chilly. I have to take off this blanket. So, we can then use this stethoscope on Damon. Come on. A stethoscope is used to check the heartbeat. Ready? Here you go, Damon. Here you go. Do you hear that? Good, good job. Take a deep breath. Oh. Your heart is nice and healthy, Damon. <laughs> okay, all right, what else do we have? Ooh, a thermometer. This will help tell the temperature of Damon. So, let's stick this thermometer in Damon's mouth. Okay, stay still. Oh. 98.6 degrees. You're nice and healthy, Damon. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we have a comb. <laughs> Let's go brush his hair. <laughs> oh, so handsome. There you go, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Great. Perfect. Okay, let's see what else there is. And, oh, a bottle. I bet Damon's really hungry. <laughs> All right, Damon. Here you go. Eat up. How does that taste? Yum! <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That was so much fun taking care of the babies and getting our x-ray in the doctor's office. <laughs> Oh, hey, I was just sitting here thinking about life. What's the purpose of life? Hmm, I don't know, but I could really use a smoothie. I love smoothies. Have you ever had a smoothie before? Yeah, they're so tasty and cold. <laughs> so refreshing. Eco Cafe! Let's go make a smoothie! Wow, so we have some blenders and some fruit over here. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun! Okay, first things first, 
we need to put this around us so we don't get dirty. So tie that in the back. Okay, I'll grab this green plate and put some fruits and vegetables on it. Okay, how about two red strawberries? Yum. <laughs> Let's do one yellow lemon. Yum. And let's do two green apples. Perfect. Doesn't that look tasty? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's blend them all up. <gasps> Yum. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. That's silly. It fell on the ground. Okay, let's put them in the blender. One apple in the blender. And let's do a strawberry in the blender. Okay, let's blend it up. <laughs> Perfect! All right, now it's all blended up. I need to grab a cup. Okay, here we go. Let's pour it in the cup. Mmm, yum! Okay, here's one cup full of some smoothie. Now, let's make some juice. Let's come over to this juicer. Whoa! <laughs> and then, let's put them right in there. The yellow lemon, the green apple, and the red strawberry. Put the lid on, and here we go! All right, and there we go. Yum! Mmm, so healthy and tasty. Good job. <laughs> All this playing and learning is making me hungry. Let's go shopping. Grab one of these baskets. Whoa, look at this place. This is a grocery store. And the goal today is to find some nice, healthy food. So, let's see here. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> wow, a potato! A potato is a vegetable. Is that healthy or not healthy? Yeah, a potato, vegetables are healthy. Let's put it in the basket. Let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, some broccoli. Yeah, broccoli is a vegetable. Vegetables are healthy. Ooh, an orange. Oranges are the color orange. <laughs> and oranges are fruit. And fruit are healthy. Let's put it right there. Okay. Ooh, a pear. Another fruit. That is healthy. All right, let's see what else we can find. Hello! <laughs> okay, what's in this aisle? Okay, so we have some vanilla frosting. And we have, ooh, right up here. We have some bran flakes. What one of these is healthy? Yeah, bran flakes are healthy. Let's put the bran flakes in there, and let's put the vanilla frosting back. Okay, let's try another one. Let's see, oh, we have some oats for oatmeal, and we have, oh, some cola. Is cola soda pop healthy? No, we'll put that back. Is oatmeal healthy? Yeah, oatmeal is healthy. Let's put that in our basket. Good job. Oh, okay. We have some more items to pick. Okay, let's see. We have milk. Oh, 
question we have? Whipped cream. Which one of these is healthy? Yeah, milk. <laughs> That's pretty healthy. Whipped cream, lots of sugar. Not so healthy. Okay, let's put that back and uh, let's move on. Oh, another aisle. Ooh, yum. <laughs> okay, we have some rice and we have some brownies. Which one is healthy? Yeah, rice is healthy. Let's put that in our basket. And for the brownies, hmm, not too healthy. I really do like brownies, but we need to get some healthy things. So good job with all this healthy shopping. So for doing such a really good job, I think you and I should get a treat. Whoa. Look, cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Ah. Oh, and what's down here? Hello. Ooh, and donuts. So, for doing such good job shopping healthy, let's pick a cupcake or a donut. Hmm, I have an idea. How about we both get one. Let's take a cupcake and a donut. <laughs> Let's put them right there. <laughs> we'll save those for later. Good job. Okay, here we go. Let's check out. We need to purchase all these items. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> okay, we need to scan them and then purchase them. Wow. That was so much fun going shopping with you. Wow. <laughs> I love shopping for healthy things. <laughs> oh, hey, I was just working on this vehicle. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's eco-friendly with this eco checklist. And what that means is I'm making sure that everything on this vehicle is running really efficiently. Like right here. This is the brake disc. And there's no wheel and tire around it. Hmm, let's put one on. Oh, so these are the lug nuts. Put them in my pocket. And then this. This is a wheel and a tire. It's pretty heavy. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's line these bolts up. There we go, perfect. And then let's take these lug nuts and let's put them on. Whoops, <laughs> it fell down. Okay. Turn this on, turn it clockwise, just like this. Okay, now that they're kind of tight, let's take the gun and do a star shape. Perfect, <laughs> awesome. Okay, now let's check the engine compartment. Okay, okay, the cylinder's working really good. The battery looks awesome. Oh, this air filter looks like it could be clean. Let me go right over here. Okay, knock it out. Oh, okay, nice and clean. Let's put it back right there. Okay, now we need to do the fluids. The oil the coolant, the antifreeze, and the wiper fluid, right over here. First, let's start with the oil. Okay, undo the cap, pour it right there. <laughs> Perfect, all right, and then, 
let's do the antifreeze and coolant. And what this does is make sure that the vehicle does not freeze during winter and it stays cold during summer. Put it right there. Perfect. Okay. And then this is the windshield wiper fluid. And this is what sprays on your windshield and cleans off the windshield so you can see. Let's put it right there. Ah, perfect. And the brake fluid looks good and the power steering fluid looks good. Wow, this vehicle is running so efficiently. Good job. This area is called Young at Art. Oh, let's make some art. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is a round cylinder chalkboard. I have an idea. Let's take some chalk. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Let's take some more chalk. Here we go. Wow, <laughs> that was so much fun. What else is around here? Ooh, a microscope. Wow, check this out. Whoa, do you see these? These are different types of materials. Like we have cardboard, paint. Ooh, we even have like a dollar bill right here. Bubble wrap, whoa. And then this microscope right here, and then zooms in really far on them. Let's see. See, look, this is a dollar bill, really close. Look at that. See the number one right there? Whoa, so interesting. Oh, and then uh, let's see. That right there is bubble wrap, really close. Closer than what we can see with our normal eye. Whoa, look at that blue fabric. <sighs> looks like there's so much space right there. But when I look at it down here, kind of looks like a t-shirt. Whoa, and then, whoa, look at that. That is cardboard. Yeah, like cardboard, like a cardboard box. But that's really close. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> Microscopes are so cool. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is around here. Whoa, a place where you can draw, color, and write stuff. So today, let's take the color orange and write my name in these six boxes. Okay, ready? B, L, I, P, P, I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we'll keep that right there. Whoa, look at this. Wow, what a big green table. And there's some holes in it. Huh, I have an idea. Let's build something. Art doesn't just have to be pieces of paper that you draw on or color on. It could even be something interesting like this. Wow. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. Then let's try and connect all of these. Wow, look at that. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, what a masterpiece this is. Oh, whoa! <laughs> so silly. Whoa, this room back here, it's so interesting. Get ready, it's a little dark, but don't be scared. Whoa, this is the fluorescent room. See, everything that you draw in here 
lights up and glows in the dark. Check this out. Ready? Let's spell my name again. B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. Flippy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and we'll do a nice little underline. Wee. <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. What an interesting room that was. Wow. That was so much fun playing and learning at the Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. See you soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi. And today we're at Dig This in Las Vegas, Nevada. Whoa. Ha-ha. And today, you and I are going to learn about the word crush. Do you know the word crush? Yeah. It means to destroy, pulverize, and just smash things. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait a second. Do you see what I see? Yeah. Eggs. Whoa. Three eggs. One, two, three. <laughs> I love eggs. But today, I'm not going to eat this egg. Today, I'm going to crush this egg. Ready? <laughs> okay, let's find some more things to crush. <laughs> Woo! what it is. It's a soda can. I think we should crush this. But be sure to never try this at home. And the only reason why I'm going to do it is because I have shoes on. All right, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's so small. Woohoo! Yeah, I love crushing things. That was awesome! Oh, hey, perfect! Look at what it is. This is a watermelon. It looks like it's ready to be crushed. Oh! Are you ready? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! That's awesome! <laughs> yeah! Look! The watermelon! <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find and crush. Oh, wait a second. No way. There's a car right there. Let's crush the car. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I crush the car, I need to wear my safety gear. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I have a bright yellow. Safety vest. Perfect. All right. And then I got my hard hat and safety glasses. All right. Oh, oh, wait a second. This needs to be perfect. Okay, here we go. Oh, hoo -hoo. all right. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> trying to crush it, but it's not really working. Let's try the door. <laughs> oh, interesting. <sighs> I'm not getting very far. All right, one last one. <laughs> All right, anywho, I have an idea. We need a bigger tool for this job, but before that, Let's write crush on it. Perfect. All 
right. We have some spray paint. We have red, green, blue, pink, and black. So first, let's take some white paint. All right. Pour some in right there. And let's and let's give it a nice white base coat. All right. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. Perfect. A little bit more white right there. All right. For this. <laughs> and the perfect machine is a toy excavator. Whoa, what better machine to destroy and crush this car than an excavator? But wait a second, this toy can't do it. <gasps> That's why I have a real excavator. All right, let's crush this car. Things first, let's keep this toy excavator right back there. Let's put on our headset. All right. Perfect. All right. And now, let's put on our hard hat. Okay. So, let's take our safety belt. Yeah, just like the seat belt in your car. Now that we're all strapped in, we're ready to crush.
I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator, I'm an excavator. to act like an excavator. I'll teach you. All you gotta do is bring up your arm, like it's the arm and the boom in the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> That's fun! Got a place where workers sit, it's called a cab Where they control the bucket to scoop and grab I'm a whole regulator, I'm an excavator Oh, can't you see that I work all day? Do you ever sleep? No time for sleep I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, excavator, excavator. Whoa! That was so crazy! in that car. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa! Look! Look the letters. C R U S H. Crush. Whoa! Look at it. It's so crushed. Whoa! Here's the steering wheel. Whoa! And 
the seats and the windshield. Wow, that was crazy. Well, thank you so much for learning about the word crush with me. And hey, special thanks to Dig This in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, see you later, kids. Bye-bye. We are at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are gonna see some awesome animals. Let's go. Got my member's card. All right, okay, come on. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, here we go. Hey, this is Cindy. And what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. Oh, Boris is so pretty. Is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. This is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point of Science Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So, what are we gonna, have, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so. this is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up. Right up to his little nose. Okay, here and I go. And he's gonna slurp 
that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa! Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long! Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests and termite mounds. And then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah. So Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life. And when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out hey. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Oh, meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. OK. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. OK. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Okay, here we go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, okay, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay, where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. <laughs> And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right, let's do this one right here actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. Oh, it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's okay. take the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what? Let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay. It's kind of like a search and find because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it okay so spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun <laughs> okay 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 there's a little bit more let's put some right on this ledge Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let them out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo.
They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. And this place has amazing sea creatures. And we can actually touch them. See? You can touch, but with only one finger, okay? Oh, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello. Hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Ooh, did you see it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Whee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. They're really hard. It's so cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs>
Now, let's learn the parts of a forklift. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at that up there. That is the cab. That's where the operator of the forklift sits. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, look at these. This is a wheel and tire, and this is a wheel and tire. This one is really big, and this one is really small. Whoa! Wow, look at this tall thing. This is called the mast. What? And this right here, this is called the carriage. Ooh, and these, these are the forks. Nom, 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 nom. And these three things are what lift the pallet. Oh, hey, and look at what it is. This is the dance floor. I mean, the pallet. Let's go check the oil. Whoa! This is the engine of the forklift. Wow, there's so many cool things in here that provide the power for the forklift. I think we should check the oil together. Ooh! First you take out the dipstick, and then you put it back in, and then you check the oil. Whoa! And it looks perfect. Now that is what I call ground line serviceability. <laughs> All right, now it's time to operate the forklift. But first, safety first. We need to put on our safety equipment. I got my hard hat. And then I got my bright orange. Whoa, it's windy. It's like a cape. <laughs> okay, let's put it on. Zip it up. All right. Now all of our safety equipment's on. Now we can operate the forklift. Come on. All right, come here. Okay, we're inside the forklift now. And first, we need to put on our seatbelt. Oh, 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 there we go, nice and tight. And this is the steering wheel of the forklift. Whoa, this turns the whole thing. This is the shifter knob, which makes it go forward and backward. And these knobs right here operate the mast, carriage, and forks makes it go up and down, tilt forward and backward, and then this makes it go left and right. Wow, all right, here we go. I'm gonna turn it on and drive away. Okay.
Hey, Flippy, can you help me out and move one of these pallets over to the warehouse? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. All right, whoa. All right, so did you hear that? So we have to pick one of these four pallets and move it to the warehouse. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, let's see what they have on them. Come here. Oh, this first pallet has four white buckets on it. This second pallet has one big blue barrel. This third pallet has four black tires. And this fourth pallet has a big bucket used on an excavator! Hey, Flippy, who are you talking to? Get back to work. Okay, did you hear that? We need to hurry and get back to work or else we're gonna get in trouble. Okay, um, how about, let's do, let's do the tires. Yeah, that seems like a good one. much, Blippi. Good job. Thank you. Good job to you. All you have to do is search for my name. Let's spell my name together. Ready? One, two, three. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. Hey! Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone. <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi, why don't you go to get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Whoa! Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. That's so fun. Ooh, and here's another one. Another one! Look, come here! 
must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look, hello! No one's in there! <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! <laughs> Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> oh, do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! Shoot and a head catch. <laughs> this is where the livestock go right over here to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay, one last place. Come in here. Whoa, this is the tack room. Look, whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. Oh, oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tack. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion. Mm. For the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this, and then over its ears, like this, and wow. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. That's a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> 
This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. <laughs> that was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch. Like this, this giant dump truck. Woo! And this medium sized backhoe. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank. Right here, this is full of water. It's about 1,100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right, so now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash, where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. What's your name? 
Whoa! I really like your name! Look at where I'm at! Whoa! I am at an ice skating rink! And this ice skating rink is the Kent Valley Ice Skating Rink in Kent, Washington! Whoa! Ooh, ice is so cold! Whoa! <laughs> it's really cold! But look at what I'm wearing! Yeah! These are ice skates! Whoa! Look! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I love ice skating rinks! Because you can ice skate, you can even play hockey. <laughs> oh. <gasps> What's this? Oh, this is a Zamboni. And today, you and I are going to learn about Zamboni. Now let's learn a little bit more about the Zamboni. <laughs> Zamboni, hmm, what a silly name. Look, there it is right there. Let's spell Zamboni together, ready? Z-A-M-B-O-N-I, Zamboni. Zambonis are used to resurface the ice at the ice rink, the hockey rink. Whoa, huh, what an interesting looking machine. Can you see what shape it looks like? Yeah, it looks like a rectangle. <laughs> Do you see any other common shapes that Zamboni has on it? Yeah! The wheels and tires! They are circles! Hey! Speaking of wheels and tires, come check them out. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like the tires have these little metal spikes in them. Do you see them? Boop! These spikes are used to dig into the ice and grip the ice so then the Zamboni doesn't slip and slide when it drives on the ice. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's see what else this Zamboni has. Oh, hey! This is the dump tank. When all the ice gets pushed up to the front, this is where all the ice shavings go. It's kind of like a giant snow cone. <laughs> All right, come back here. Whoa. This whole unit? This unit is the conditioner. And one cool part of the conditioner is right in here. Whoa. So there's like a razor blade down there that shaves the ice. It's really hard to see. But this, yeah, looks like a spiral. This is an auger that pushes all the ice to the center, then goes to the top, and then goes to the dump tank. Whoa. Whoa. And the 
look at this. Here's some pipes. So what these pipes have, have water in them. And they spray water up, down, to the left, to the right. And then from there, the water goes on the ice. And then it melts and it makes it really smooth and flat. Okay, watch this. Whoa! <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I think it's time to turn on the Zamboni. See these? These are propane tanks. This is what powers the Zamboni. All right, let's fire it up. Turn on the key. Whoa! All right, check this out. in the back. Okay, but come over here. Ah, it's really loud because that is the motor. Whoa. That's what provides the Zamboni with all of its power. Ooh, and right here, this is the water tank. Where the back of the Zamboni gets all of its water from. All right, I'm gonna go resurface the ice rink. Sharpening room. Wow. <laughs> so cool. All right. This is the Blade Master. Yeah, see this? There's metal on the bottom of this skate, and we need to sharpen it. This is the sharpening station. So let's put the skate right here. Slide this. Tighten that just a little bit. Pull that up. Ah. Now. It's ready to sharpen. Okay, turn on the light. And then there was light. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Whoa. Do you see those sparks? Here we go. Whoa! All right. Woo! Ah, that's 
sharp. All right, now we're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some hockey gear. Oh, some pads. Yeah, a lot of pads, because ice is really hard. You don't want to fall down. Ooh, and some more pads. <gasps> Do you see what I see? Orange and blue hockey sticks! Oh, no way! Look! The color orange? Yeah, and blue! Wow! Oh, hey, look! Here's two different kinds of hockey sticks. Do you see how they curve differently? See, this one curves that way. And this one curves that way. Wow. See? I'll give you an example. So you take this one and you fling the puck this way because it curves that way. But this one, it curves the other way. So you fling the puck that way. Oh, hey, look. A perfectly placed hockey puck. <laughs> All right. Hey, I got the perfect stick. Got my skates, and I got the hockey puck. So now, let's go play some hockey. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. All right. Now that we have our hockey stick, yeah, and our hockey puck. Another fun thing to do at ice skating rinks is learn to play. And maybe at your ice skating rink, they have learned to play as well, where you, as a child, can learn to play hockey. And the point of hockey is to get the puck using the stick into the hockey goal. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is the goal. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so what you do, like I said, take the puck and get it inside the hockey goal past this line with the hockey stick. All right, let's try it again. It's gonna be a little bit easier because normally there's a goalie right there. It's so much fun playing hockey. Because the puck slides on the ice, just like my skates. Oh, I missed. That's okay. Because when you play sports, if you miss, you just have to try again. Like this. Woo! And eventually, you'll win. This right here is a specialty move. It's called a knuckle puck. You take the puck, put it down vertically like that, and give it a whack. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Whack, whack, whack. Now, for the next activity, I have a handle and a rope, and it's attached to the back of the Zamboni. And for this sport, I call it Zamboni Skating. All right, hit it. learning about the Zamboni with you, as well as hockey, eh, <laughs> and ice skating. Special thanks to the Kent Valley Ice Center. Wow, 
What a fun time we had. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye. today. Yeah! Whoa! Look at where we are. Today we're at Fidget's Indoor Play Place in Las Vegas, Nevada. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's skip around and see what's here. Whoa! Look, it's a train. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm gonna continue to skip. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is a train station. See, there's so many trains here. Like this red train. Choo-choo, mm, choo-choo. Oh, hello, pink train. See, it's a pink train. Wow! Hello! Choo 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 Wow! <laughs> Ooh! And look! It's a black train! Choo 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 Whoa! Whoa. I love trains! Wow! Vroom 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 Alright! Let's see what else there is around here. Ooh, look at this. It's a colorful ball pit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, so many colorful balls. Whoa, whoa, what's this in here? Oh, wow, this is a green lawnmower. I think we should mow the lawn. Let's see what else there is in here. Whoa! 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 What is this? Wow! It's a red motorcycle! <laughs> I bet there's something else in here for us. Whoa! <laughs> Whee! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Oh, watch out! Oh, oh, I almost got you! Whoa! Oh, look! It's an excavator! Yeah, like the Blippi Excavator song! I'm an excavator Let's crawl to this side of the room. Whoa! Look at this! This looks like the base of a boat. And this is water, see? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> That is one cool boat. <laughs> okay, let's continue to crawl. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Wow, we have a fire truck. Whoa, and a school bus. Okay, let's take the fire truck and Let's let her rip. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! All right, let's do 
it again, but this time with the school bus. Ready? Here we go! Whoa! Yeah! Good job! Whoa! Look at that back there! Wow! This looks like a princess and the king's castle! Okay, I'm gonna go inside! Hello! <laughs> Look! I'm a unicorn! And look at what else I found in here. Whoa! It's a stroller! With a baby in it. This is a baby! Hi, baby! Hello! <laughs> okay, sleep tight, baby. Shh. Ooh, sleep tight. Ooh, sleep tight. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, now let's go run around some more. so colorful. This step is the color blue. This step is the color orange. This step is the color red. Ooh. And this step is the color green. Come up here. Look at this red punching bag. Ooh, here's another one over here. Whoa. Whoa. See, here's another one. This punching bag is orange. Wow. We are on the second floor of this. Structure. Whoa. Hey, and there's a tunnel. Go over there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at this tunnel. Whoa, I see you over there. Okay, I'll come over there. Here we go. I'm crawling through the tunnel. That was really cool. Oh, look over here. Wow, see this? This is a yellow slide. Ooh, and it's the shape of a circle. Oh, I, I should go down it, slide down it. And then when I'm down there, you can come down after me. Ready? All right, bye-bye. Whoa! Oh, good job going down the slide! Okay, that was so much fun sliding down the slide! Now, I think we should roll! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I love rolling! Oh, hey, what's this? Hello! Okay, how are you? Now I'm inside this house. Reddit. Reddit. Oh, hey frog. Hello! <laughs> Ooh, what else is here? Bye bye frog! Whoa, 
look at this contraption! Whoa! 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 I'm balancing! Okay! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Now, let's roll some more! Here it comes! Oh, yeah! Here's another one. This one is the color purple. Get ready, here we go! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Oh, hey! Look at this. This is a pink carriage with a horse on it. Bye-bye! Yeah. In a red car with a yellow top. Oh, watch out! Ooh. And a black police car. Here we go! <laughs> and one more! A red fire truck! Here we go! Bye-bye, fire truck! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Here we go! Let's go over here! Ooh, look at all of these colorful blocks! There's so many colors! Okay, I think we should lay them down to see what's behind them. Whoa, yeah, do you see this? This right here, this is a blackboard. And you can write on it. So let's go over what we did today. First thing is we skipped. S-K-I-P, yeah, skip. Then we crawled, C R. A W L crawl. And then we ran. R U N run. And then what did we do? Yeah, we slid down the slide. S L I D E slide. And then, ooh, we just rolled. R O L L. Roll. <laughs> well, this is so much fun doing these active things with you at this play place. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is ask for my name. Yeah, my name's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi! Good job! See you again! Bye bye! Oh, look at this fire truck toy! It has a gigantic ladder! There's a real fire truck behind me! Let's put this fire truck toy away and check out some of the gadgets on the real fire truck! Can you hear me? This is Fireman Blippi. <laughs> hey, we're inside a real fire truck. I got my seatbelt on to keep me safe. I even got my headset so I can communicate with all the other workers. Oh, look over this way. That's where the driver sits and steers the fire truck with the steering wheel. Oh, check the back out with me. Yeah, look at all those seats. That's where the rest of the fire workers sit. And there's anywhere from three to six firemen in the fire truck going to the fire. 
<laughs> let's check out some more of the fire truck. the base of the ladder on the fire truck and look way up there yeah there's a real fireman let's get him to wave to us oh, he's so high up there he's about 105 feet up in the air wow Now it's about time for me to show you some of the tools and gadgets on a fire truck. Let's go! Whoa! Look, this right here, yeah, this is a hydrant wrench. You use this to open up the fire hydrant. And then uh, this is the stores wrench. Whoa! You use the stores wrench on the inlets of the fire truck. So then you can connect the hose to the fire truck and provide the fire truck with water. But in order to do that, you need hoses. Look up here. Whoa. That's a lot of hose. Okay. Now, let me show you some more cool gadgets of the fire truck. Wow, watch this. Whoa! Okay, we got a pickaxe. We got just a normal pick. And then, yep, you can't forget the snippers. <laughs> Ooh, watch this trick. Whoa! Look at all these cool tools on the fire truck. <laughs> There's tools inside secret compartments that are inside secret compartments. <laughs> Wait, hey, come back here. I forgot to show you something. Look at inside this little compartment. Whoa, it's a giant air tank. The firefighters use this to breathe air because you can't breathe in fire and smoke. But in order to use this, you need to wear a harness. Let's go try on a harness now. <laughs> We just got a fire call. Let's go put on our air pack. All right, this is our air pack. This is compressed air in this big bottle. And then this down here, this is my mask. So let me put it on. Tighten that up, and then you just buckle this in, kind of like a seat belt. Okay, and now you gotta turn on the air. Okay, and then let's put on the mask. Okay, now I'm breathing air from the air condenser pack back there. Now it's time to go fight some fires. See ya.
Wow! Oh, you can't forget about the buttons! <laughs> this fire truck toy is so much fun! Thank you for learning about fire trucks with me! Blippi, B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi, good job. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what I have in my hand. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a skateboard, and I think you and I should learn about skateboarding. Come on. This store. This is the Brooklyn Projects in Los Angeles, California. Whoa, this place is so cool. Whoa, check this out over here. Whoa, cool apparel. Whoa, look at these designs up here. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> it's so fuzzy like a monster. And it's the letter W. <laughs> Pretty cool. Whoa, come check it out. <laughs> Skateboard decks up there, even BMX bikes. Whoa, this store owner must really love skateboarding and BMX bikes. Whoa, what's over here? Hey! Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, are you feeding the fish? <laughs> the shop has a bunch of fish. Here you go. All right. Throw it in there. Whee! <laughs> All right, bye-bye, fish. All right, see you soon. All right, hey, I think it's time to see if one of the workers will help me learn how to skateboard. Come on. Whoa, pretty cool. Here's one, come on. Hey, hey. good sir, carry this in. How's it going? <gasps> Do you know who that is? <laughs> Sean White, oh, he's won three gold medals in the Olympics for snowboarding. One, two, three, whoa, and he's a professional skateboarder. Let's ask him for help. Um, How can I help you? Uh, just, uh, <clears throat> uh, just curious if you could uh, help me learn to skateboard today. Oh uh, Yeah, you wanna learn how to skateboard, you know. I've been skateboarding my whole life. Love doing big airs and things. I'm just setting this board up, and we'll take you out back, show you how to do it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Whoa, this is a big ramp. Is this where you skateboard at? <laughs> this is. Oh, <laughs> pretty cool. All right, well, will you show us? Well, hold on, you know, you're gonna need some protective gear first. All right, yeah. what's that? Check out my buddy Wilder here. Whoa. He's got a helmet. Wow. Yep, then he's got his elbow pads. Right here? Yep, and then you got your knee pads down here. Ooh, and this yep. is to help protect you for if yep. you fall? Just in case of a fall. Whoa, It'll that's all pretty safe. cool. <laughs> and what are you gonna wear to be safe? Brought my lucky helmet. Okay, well, <laughs> put it on and let's right. see you ride. Here we go, guys. <laughs> All right, here, you wanna come this way? Let's go. Here we go.
Well, you know, I've been working really hard at this for a long time. So if you practice, you make perfect. Oh, well that's good to know. Can I try now? Of course. Okay. Okay, first thing, put the board down. Okay. You're gonna put your helmet on. All right. There you go. Okay. Now put whatever front foot feels good. Okay. Right toward the front of the board. All right. And then you pull the back foot on. Oh. And then you keep your knees bent. Oh, that's the key. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Wee. Whoa. This is harder than it looks. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, all right. That was oh. pretty good. Yeah. But I think I know what you're missing. What is it? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa. <gasps> Got that for you. <gasps> An official Sean White White Space T-shirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's totally what I'm missing. Okay. Let's put this on. Right on. Here we go. <laughs> I'll help you there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Okay. All right. Looking How do we good. look? Looking yeah. Good. Oh, and you know what else? Yeah. The souls of the animal kingdom. Eagle. Fox. <coughs> Bottlenose dolphin. Octopus. House cat. <coughs> I'm ready. Flippy, that was amazing, especially for your first time. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for teaching me. With a good teacher, you can do a lot of cool things. <laughs> no problem at all. Well, hey, I had an amazing time skating with you. I gotta head to another skate park, but we should do this again sometime. Maybe I'll take you to the mountains and go snowboarding. Really? Yeah, <laughs> Well, I really out. appreciate it. <laughs> all See right. you, man. See ya. Did you hear that? Maybe I'll get to go snowboarding with Sean White. Woo! Whoa, check it out. Let's learn how to build a skateboard. See this? Whoa! <laughs> this is a skateboard deck. Whoa, and this one has a really cool design. Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> That's silly. And see this on top? This is grip tape. Whoa, it's kind of like sand and you can't move at all. So then you don't, your feet don't slip and slide. Okay, and this is what's called a truck. Ooh, and you know what these are, right? Yeah, wheels. And how these work, you put the wheel on the truck, put the other wheel on the truck, and then you screw in the nut and make it nice and tight. And then you do the other one. Whoa! <laughs> All right. There we go. Whee! See it spin? Perfect. All right, so you have two trucks. All right, and then put them on the bottom. After you put these bolts through, let's put four of them in there. One. Two, three, whoa, four, perfect. Okay, let's put the truck right here. This is a little tricky. Okay, all right, there we go. All righty, and then you put some of these right on there and you spin it around. And you make it nice and tight. Okay, watch this. Okay, one of two is done. Perfect. And then this other one. And there we go. Check it out. 
It's a completed skateboard. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> learning about skateboarding with you. If you think skateboarding sounds fun, you should try it. But always remember to wear your helmet and all of your safety equipment. But hey, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, let me put on my helmet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's go, see you later. Ooh. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun, come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome. Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah, I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. <laughs> There's one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it off for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, 
and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? Yeah, it's so tasty. Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. Then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way, flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh. And an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa. See that? That's an axolotl. Whoa. So interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Whoa. <laughs> Check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know but this is a turtle wow hey how are you turtle are you having a good day are you having fun yeah <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun <laughs> see you later Whoa. it's kind of dark in here but that's okay this is a green iguana can you see it Whoa, it's just relaxing, having a good time. <laughs> All right, see you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur.
dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur, that's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> hey, see, it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool. Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a Triceratops. Do you know why they call it a Triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. See, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only. It doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out! Whoa, this is a massive footprint! Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine! It's even way bigger than two of my feet! Whoa, another dino! Check it out! This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Woo, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right, come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm gonna do the same, but it's gonna grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, watch, I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoa. 
Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. It's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Whoa, that's pretty fun. Whoa, look at this area. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, look in there. Let's go. Ooh. Welcome! Come on in! Hey, look! It's a little tree house. Here I go! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! 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 <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, the noise room. Come on. Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. Shiny bowls. Ooh, I'm pretty good, huh? Ooh, yeah. Check it out. Listen. to the top, right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see, right over here. All right. Timber! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. 
And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Oh, look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, Yellow! Good job! Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go! Do you like numbers? Yeah! I do too! What about big numbers? Yeah! Check this out! This is a big number! 76,383,000 232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect! We're almost done, look! Yeah! This is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon. And we call it Moon! <laughs> wow, how clever of us! Hey, look at what it is! This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system, and this is Saturn. Oh, and the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity and they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look, I just made all those things light up. Whoa, this is fun. Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> It was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice. 
nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to pull down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. Now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello, this is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello, hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there. Ready? Boom! Yeah! That was awesome! Ah, yum! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Awesome. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Pika, Pika. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Mika! <laughs>